Alright guys, welcome to uh, Generation Zero. This is an open world, I guess you'd call it survival FPS. Um, I've had this game since release. I've played through the game multiple times. Um, and I've loved it every single time I've played through I've played through it three times now. Uh, well, not all the way through it. I only beat it one time all the way through. The other ones I did just other stuff. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. So this is my character. I mean, he's level one because I deleted my entire save because I'm going to go for the platinum for this. And I wanted to start from the beginning. So this is character one. Um, this is who we're going to play as for now. And basically, oh, actually, we're not playing as this character. I forgot. We're going to play as a different character. But, um, so basically, this game got an update, like, what, an hour ago? Literally, I just updated it, so. Um, but I quit to main menu. This game got updated an hour ago, though, and added a bunch of new stuff to the farmlands region of the game, so I'm curious to see what's in there. Um, yeah. But I have quite a bit of time with this game now. Um, me and my friends have played through quite a bit. Uh, it takes place in Sweden, and you're trying to figure out what happened, because just no one's there. You'll see right now in a second when we load in. Mm. Mm, put that hip hopper. Um, see, I like this one, the greaser one. It's really nice. Uh, we'll go skirmish, automatic difficulty scaling, start game. Why is it spotting me here? Why did... I guess we are starting with this character. Well, I, I mean... I wanted us to start from the very beginning, dude. I'm so pissed off. Because the beginning is all the way down here. Wait, I think they had to change some. So it's broken too. It's still it's still glitched. Uh, that's why you see that thing happen. So we have some guns in here, uh, because I bought a DLC pack. So they're just in here. Um, the M16, the M60, and the M9. Um, but we have no ammo for them. That's the problem. But, I'm trying to think, mm, I think we should take this out, and this, take that first aid kit, all the adrenaline shots, um, I'm going to turn down the game audio to, like, 50. Um, so these are new. Come back later for more assignments. There's nothing there, though. The thing, too, like, these prestige points, they don't do anything. You can't do anything with them. Um, so we have cyberpunk outfits. That's just a bike helmet. What? How, how is that cyberpunk? What? How is that cyberpunk, dude? That's just a biker. <laughs> I'm going to take that helmet off. Um, so yeah, this sucks because I was, I had a plan with how I wanted this to go. That just looks weird. Oh! Put it back on. 
But I had a plan on how I wanted us to play through the game, but we're not able to because the way the save system works. So, but yeah, I reset everything. So I'm starting back from number one. Um, I haven't played too much either in the last few months since all these bigger updates came out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they actually added and everything. Um, and then we go to first aid kits, assigned to slot. And then, oh, oh yeah. And then, um, if we go to here, uh, sign, muzzles, handgun. Okay. They actually changed a lot of this around. That was a new animation. I've never seen this animation before. Okay. But yeah, so I, I haven't played this game in a little while. Uh... I don't remember how to turn off my flashlight, there it is. So, the region we're in, I'm pretty sure, is the region that should be completely different. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, cause where are we on the map? No, it's up here. So that's where we're gonna try and make our way to, is up here a little more. Yeah, so the reason it's doing that is cause it's broken. That's why it does that non-stop. It's been broken since launch, that one bug. And they said they fixed it, and it was fixed for a little while, and then it just keeps breaking. Um, some of this is new. I don't remember ever having any of this to do here. I wonder if they changed what's up here? This is new. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Yeah. Huh? So, we can... Can we craft or do we recycle? Because, like, I don't want all these radios. I can only recycle weapons and attachments. Interesting. What's this? Yeah, this is the crafting table, which is only for outfits, which is really weird. A bullet resistant jacket. Wouldn't that be here? I got a bullet resistant jacket. Or was it a book? Because we picked up a book. So. Yeah. Alright. Let's keep heading up. Alright, well, we'll probably end up using shotgun for a little while. Um, oh, itch. I didn't think it would auto-assign it. Because it never auto-assigns anything in this game. Alright. So, I don't know, too, either, like, how many enemies there are. Or if there are any new enemies. Because since last time I've played, I know there's been one enemy update... That adds, like, these high-powered uh, people to the map. High-powered robots. So I don't know how strong they are. This looks new in the front. Front one's not always like this, I don't think. But I've been following this game since before launch, even. I bought the game on launch the day it came out, and I followed it for, I want to say, like, two years um, while I was in development. And I thought this was, originally, I thought it was going to be a small team making this, but it's made by Avalanche Studios, the same people who make Just Cause and all those games. So I was quite surprised. Um, let's go to Log... 
go to schematics. What's in schematics? This is new. Oh, you! I forgot you can craft ammo now. Side mission. All right. Pick up the flashlight. Yeah. Okay. We have to go back to spawn. Like the original spawn. We have to go. Uh, sooner or later, too, they said they were going to add cars or motorcycles. But for now, all we have is these. Shoot. Yeah, but for all, for now, all we have are, uh, bicycles. Shit. Yeah, so for this one, which is the mission we're going to do, we have to go back to spawn. That's... Wait, what? That's the farm. Yeah, where well, I'm going to spawn. Okay. And hopefully we can find ammo for our pistol and stuff when we go back. It's because this character's never been to spawn before. And the way the save system works, every time you start a new character, you're not really starting a new character. Uh, the stash box that we just went in to get this weapon, that's shared across all players. Um, and your last location is shared across players. So it's, it's not the best for if you actually want to start a new game. If you want to start a new game, you have to delete everything. So that's the biggest problem. But this, this is like a really cool intro. Like the first time I played it, I thought it was so cool. Let's check the cop car for ammo first. I'm not grabbing that. I don't remember there ever actually being a cop in there. That's cool. That's new actually. They also made it easy for you to switch ammo now, too. That's cool. So I just double tap R1. Oh, that's so nice. We'll probably use Birdshot for now, anyway. The problem is I don't know what kind of robot it is, because I can't see it. There's a weapon here. It wants me to grab that shotgun in there. It's because the intro is supposed to be at night, but since I played, it ruined it. So the intro is not at night anymore. Those flares are useful because, or not the flares, the adrenaline shots, they're useful because they can uh, pick you up whenever you go down. Um. Oh, I forgot they added melee weapons. I completely forgot they added melee weapons, dude. It's a sidearm. Interesting. We could use it for now. We don't have any ammo for our... M9. Um. Um. Where's our M16? Did I accidentally hit drop item? Oh, dude. No way. Where did I drop it at? Dude, you serious? Oh my 
my god. That so we are we lost our M16. Are you serious, dude? There's so many adrenaline shots here. What the hell? Did they I they had to mess with the way your weapons spawn. I'm not too worried about it not spawning in. I mean, it's not the end of the world. If it comes down to it, we'll just find another one in the open world anyway. That's how you're supposed to play it. So I'm not a too angry about it because I feel like just giving me stuff as soon as I spawn in isn't how this game should be played anyway in the first place. Because that was like half the game. It was just finding new weapons every time you load it in. So it's like having weapons off start like the M16 and the M60 and the M9 just good weapons. I don't like having those right off spawn. But that does make me mad because I don't know where an M16 is really. See if I can still get up here. Oh god damn it. Stay on the fence. Did they patch it? No, they shouldn't have. There's a literally there's a thing up there to grab. God damn it, dude. Yeah, so the, basically what I went around doing for like three days in this game. Oh, dude, I was up there. The movement system's really weird in this game. What I went around for like three days was just parkouring everywhere. And I found out that there's actually a body up here. You can't loot it anymore. What the hell? Huh. So that spot doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, I found a purple guac up there. And a uh, bunch of ammo. For it, but if you can't, you can't even loot that anymore. That sucks. The only thing I could think of is I dropped the gun somewhere over here, or it's back at the farm, or not the farm, the uh, hospital. Oh, I. How did I trade it? How did I trade it with her? How, how did that happen? God damn it. Stay equipped. Um, but on your extended mags. What? I don't even know what ammo this takes. 7.6? Seven, 5.6? Six, six. What does it take? Um, well, I don't know. Two would be five, 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 six, whatever. All right, so now we're gonna head to the farm down here. Jesus, I'm so sorry. We're gonna go here, and that just wants me to pick up. What does that want me to do now? Locate and destroy an enemy. I'm just gonna go to the farm and there'll be an enemy over there. Uh, we're gonna level up relatively soon. Leveling up in this game too, it takes forever. Uh, I guess I guess we should just kill the enemy first. Jesus Christ! Get up! Get up! Retard! Oh, they also changed the way stamina works. I still have yet to actually mess with it too much.
Holy shit. Yeah, so I haven't played it much since all these major updates, so I'm still getting used to all the newer stuff they added. And it's also the fact that I haven't been able to get my settings right when it comes to, uh... I don't remember how to mess with sensitivity right here. I haven't been able to make my sensitivity right. But... I think I am gonna... Never mind. Okay. Let's, um, keep going. Head towards the farm. So I don't know if this is going to be a one-off video or if we'll... Hold on. Or if we'll do more than this. For now, it'll be a one-off video. Oh. I'm still getting used to being able to just swap ammo like this. You used to have to go into the, uh, into the in inventory menu. And the inventory menu and everything right now, it none of it looked like that uh, originally. That all changed like six months ago. Shit. Go faster, retard. See, I feel like running is faster, but this is actually somehow faster than running. So it's like I don't want to just run. They, 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 and the thing is, too, like, they haven't really made this game set for beginners. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't have a bunch of time into the game beforehand, these updates make it harder for you to play. Shit. The, all the updates they may put out, though, it makes it harder for you to play. It's because the updates are meant for uh, more experienced players, people who already played through the game a few times and stuff. This game doesn't really have a bunch of play replayability. Um, it's just the fact that you're just roaming and looting, basically. The main story in this game isn't really there. But... Let's see if we can swim. You used to not be able to swim. Let's see if they change that. Because, like, stuff like this you'd have to go all the way around for. Yeah, you kill. You still can't swim. Okay. They recently had a newer game come out from the same people who made this from Avalanche Studios. Um, and it's called uh, fuck, I don't remember. Second Extinction. It's 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 a lot like this actually, kinda, just with dinosaurs. Um, is it recording my voice? I didn't even check. It is. Okay, we're good. Alright. But yeah, so this video will be just like a one-off video probably for a little bit at least. I just wanted to let you guys know about this game because it is a really fun game. And um, it, it, it there's a lot to it, you know what I mean? There's a lot going on. This game gets updates like every two months to add a bunch of new content. Oh, and the reason we're going this way is just to avoid all the robots. We don't have, we're not plenty full on ammo right now. So we want to do our best to keep a low profile in some of these other higher end areas. This game actually ends up getting scary sometimes too. Like when you're going through the bunkers and the lights are off, there's a bunch of robots in there. So you just have like your little flashlight like this, just your little flashlight, and you're just cr uh, cruising through a dark fucking bunker, and it's the scariest thing in the world. But they've added a lot to you since last time I played. Like, to be honest, we'll probably end up doing more... Wait, why isn't it on the map? Oh, I never downloaded the DLC on the PS5. Uh, but there's a new island right up here. Actually, this might be the new island. I don't think so. I thought it was bigger. I don't remember. I would have to download it. But there's a new island, and we'll probably end up spending more time there. I think it's right up here, actually. Like, where the map ends. It's right there. I don't remember entirely. But there, that, that part of the thing actually has people and stuff. That's the main reason that that DLC was cool. They're slowly adding more people to the game, like, around the base map. But it's not plentiful yet. Like, this game could be so much bigger than it is. Base building. 
like for the survey for the survey I did I said I wanted base building and more weapons Do you hear how loud the gunshots th are, though? And, like, the, the setting's only at, like, 60. This is new, though. I've never seen this thing here before. I've never seen a robot in the in a cage. We officially have ammo for our... for our pistol. Not much, but we have ammo now. We probably won't use the bat anyway to begin with. Because melee weapons just don't work too good in this game unless you're going against those little guys. Completely forgot that they added them though. But yeah, like they're not super useful. Because all these enemies that have really high damage output. What does that robot finally want to fucking fight? This one? Something else here, I just don't know what it is. Um What? Shit, they're gonna hear us. Um so if we go here, I'm gonna swap to our M9 now. Yeah, we definitely can't get into a fight with him right now. We don't have any ammo. I thought we picked up more ammo for this. That's all we picked up was another bullet? That doesn't sound right at all. This thing's cool, though. This is my first time messing with this gun in the game. I haven't even gotten to shot this one yet. I've shot the M16 before. Because before I resetted my save, I used it. I think it's every time, like, even if you delete shit, this is still going to be in your inventory because it's a weapon pack. It'll just always be in your stash box. We're almost to the farm. Yeah, it's right there. Destroy the machines around me. Oh, there's only four here. Whew. But what are they? That's the question. Out of ammo. That was all our health. We need to get into the barn. The bar, the barn's part of uh, part of the safe house. I'm pretty sure this this barn. So we should be good. Yeah, we're going to have to put that M16 up for now because we're not getting any 5.56 ammo. Just 7.62 and 2.43. 2.43 is for the hunting rifle, 7.62 is for the AK, of course. And higher powered rifles. A lot of 32 ACP. I don't know if that's for the pistol we picked up from the cop. That's where, it, that's what it's probably for. Um... So that top oh that's teaching us how to craft it so I can now craft this ammo 
Okay. Um. So. We're out of ammo. Except for the 32 ACP. Which goes with these. We're going to drop one. And I guess we'll equip it. Um. Pretty sure there's more here. Yes, and it quick slots them. Even after you run out, it still quick slots them. Let's go. That's awesome. But there is this this thing about this is like majority of these updates from the looks of it so far have all just been quality of life improvements for the game, which I will not complain about. There are things that I was complaining about when the game was coming out, you know what I mean? And they fixed it. This game's only been out for like, what, eight months now? Almost a year? Probably a year, actually, at this point. So these all should be quick slotted? Yes. Dude, that's so nice. There's still some, there's still robots here. Those are just the ones roaming outside. Those little, those little douchebags will be in there, probably. Or, or it could be more of these guys, but I think it'll be the little douchebags. What the fuck was that sound? This game's more of you just thinking you hear them and them not being there, and you just getting scared as hell the whole time. So you just you just play cautiously. No, there's definitely something here. There's definitely something out here. You guys heard that too, right? I think it's glitched. Every time I look away, I hear it. Little fuckers. I don't like them because I can never hit them. Dude, stop. Yeah, I can never hit those guys. My aim just gets poo-poo when, when I'm around them. Uh, let's just... Um, doesn't look like, so even though I'm, I've made a video, I'm still just going to play it off camera and stuff, you know what I mean? I just wanted to be able to actually get into it a little bit. Ooh, yes. That'll work. That'll work until we get ammo for the M16. I thought we had more. That's all the ammo we have for it? Oh, this thing's still useless then. Here's something, I just don't know where. We don't need the EMP out of every car, so... I hardly use the EMPs anyway. Because you have to get close enough to paint to set them up. Shotgun better than ours? Nope. So we just got a skill point, which now we could do either aim speed, reload speed, throw accuracy, throw distance, 
Stamina amount, stamina recharge, spotting intel. And then a chemist increases your base gas. So for right now, the earlier stages, what you want to do is combat and survival. Everything else doesn't really matter and for a long, long ass time. So I usually go with stamina, but I think... No, I think stamina still is the best way to go. Um, and then if we go... Gotta head a little further down, it looks like. There's something I wanted to check, but now I don't know what it was. Something in my inventory, but now I just don't remember. Oh. I want to assign those to that slot. Um, I want to know what kind of ammo this takes, but it doesn't tell me. Because it's supposed to tell you what ammo it takes. Like, this is 243, that's is 12 gauge, this just doesn't say anything. Here, this doesn't say anything, that, that takes 32. So I know this is 9 mil, because it's an M9, those just... Take 9 mil. It says medium power 9 millimeter. This one doesn't say. Standard issue SRF for the SR enemy. Easy to handle. Equipped with burst fire mode. It's not 7.62 though. So I'm assuming it's 5.56. Which is harder to get in every way than 7.62. 7.62 you, you find across the map everywhere. 5.56 is one of the harder ones. Because it's... I, I've barely seen it in the game. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the only time I've seen 556 is on the DLC island, and that was when the new machine guns came out. I can't think of another gun that's chambered in 556, except for the M16, I'm assuming in this game, and the 762. Or not the 762, the, uh, the M. What is it called? I don't know what the machine gun is called from the DLCs. I don't. think. Is, the, is it really chambered in 556 in real life, the M16? I don't know why, but that just doesn't seem right for some reason. Just does not seem correct at all. And I have no reason why I can't counter the fact that it probably does. It just doesn't sound right. Did I just get birdshot and buckshot? Yeah, I got buckshot and then I got birdshot. Okay, let's just use all our birdshot first. Bird shots wire spread, correct? And then buck shots less spread. We actually have a little bit of ammo for that now. This will probably be our main thing because it gave us so much ammo at the start for it, even though 32 ACP sucks, but I would prefer just to use 9 mil. I mean 30 it's not the the fact that 32 ACP is bad. It's just the fact we have hollow point on. We could always use FMJ too. Probably stick with hollow point for now. That's so nice to be able to change ammo types like that. It used to be so much worse. Emergency flare, that's all that's in here. I hear you walking around, bitch. Where are you? I hear, I swear to God, I hear a dude walking around. I'm not even joking. Is the back door open? Or can you just not get in this building? This is what a lot of this playthrough will be, me just looting buildings. Because it's such a big part of the game in general, just to... Just to loot buildings. I'm not tripping, am I? I swear to God I hear stuff. Well, that just sounds like I'm tripping. So, I think we'll make our way up over here. Like, right here where this is. And then we'll give it a rest there. And we'll we'll see you guys in the next video once we uh, loot that little area. I could put our suppressor on this, actually. 
now that I think about it. It looks, this, the M9 looks so cool with its, uh, with its suppressor on and the extended mag. Now yeah, let's do that. Oh, why'd I go to sights? I didn't even know you could put sights on pistols in this game. Alright, there we go. We got a suppressor. These suppressors don't degrade or age or anything either, so we'll be good with it. But as you go, you can get some of the better suppressors so it doesn't affect accuracy, uh, damage, and range and all that. Once you get the higher end suppressors, it starts to not affect damage, range, and all that uh, too, too much. But it still affects it just a little bit. I'm pretty sure the experimental one doesn't affect it at all and it just gives you sound suppression. It's not like you can really stealth this out, but if for some reason the enemies, even if they shoot at you, the nearby enemies won't hear that and they just hear your gun. So you having a suppressor is overall just useful to have because you don't want more enemies coming towards your location. They've asked what people want to, like, enemies-wise in this. And people, like, I said, uh, uh, AIs. Not AIs, um, what was it called? I don't remember what they called it. Uh, androids. Androids. So they look like people, but they're robots. I told them that, I, like, I, I filled out the survey. I was like, that would be a cool idea because it would be somewhat like normal enemies, but it would still fit the game because it's robots. You know what I mean? He doesn't know where I'm at, right? But yeah, like, androids would fit this game perfect, because it would be... It would be like having the same enemy type, but they just look like humans. I thought that would be cool, and then they asked, like, should they add cars, and uh, being able to actually craft weapons. I said yes to both of those, and then they asked, uh, um, base building and stuff like that. I said yes to that. Like, there's just a lot that this game could be, and they're, they're actually trying to do it, which is the coolest part. They're actually trying to make the game insane. Also, I can open the garage doors, but I just don't want to. Oh, steel. That's not even a battery. So I guess it is worth looting the cars uh, under the hood. Because you don't need to get a bunch of those EMPs. They're just not useful. Not. I mean, I'm not... No, they're, they're useful as hell, for sure. But they're not as useful as you would think they would be. Flashlight, firework. I don't actually even remember how the robots came about in this game. I don't remember the story too much. Because as I, as I said, dude, it's a very unforgetful story. Not much happens in it. And it's, it's the fact that it's, play, it's played out like Fallout. Like Fallout 76. So it's not told by people. It's told by voice recordings and books. It's exactly like Fallout in that case. Service television. This is in Sweden. I think I already said that at the beginning of the video though. But this game takes place in Sweden. In the 1980s. And they've, they've made sure to like every gun in this game fits with the 1980s you know what i mean every gun in this game was actually around in the 1980s so it's not like they're adding a bunch of stupid stuff to make it just super unrealistic like they they did a good job at making this feel somewhat like it could happen you know what i mean like they, they, they did a really good job with that it's always worth picking up those rifles to see if they're better than the ones you currently have um, and it's a knock. There's a robot outside. Um, you know, let's, let's do this.
tier one complete. Okay. I'm pretty sure too that they made sure that enemies stopped uh, just exploding all upon death. Because what they used to do is they used to just explode after you killed them. And you'd be screwed. Because you would, you would just instantly drop dead. Also, the thing that I'm hitting is on their backs. It's, um, that's where the weak point is. You can kill them in one shot almost every time if you hit there. But it's, it's somewhat harder to hit there than other things. Than just shooting at them in the face. Um, so it said that we completed a tier. I don't know if that's part of the challenges. I think it's the challenges. Yeah. We have a prestige point now. And a new title. The thing is, like, I don't know, none of these do anything. The only, like, at the end there, that's useful. Hazard suit jacket, hazard suit gloves, hazard suit boots, hazard suit pants, hazard suit gas mask. Those are useful because those actually do help with gas. Cowbell, electric guitar, sax, what? I don't know how any of those are useful. These don't even give you anything. Those first two don't. Uncle Cal's tinfoil hat, Vaughn Homer's lab coat, access badge. I that's actually useful. Why is that locked behind that? Interesting. Nerdy T-shirt, pilot breathing gear with aviators, Soviet ring with bear insignia. And then what do you get out of these? Phoenix runner boots. Um, Phoenix Tick Helmet, Phoenix Seeker Goggles, Phoenix Hunter Jacket, Phoenix Harvester Gloves, Phoenix Tank Jeans. Military Phoenix Class only. Alright, well, let's go back in here. This is where we're going to do, the, we're, this is where we're going to end this video of uh, Generation Zero. If you guys definitely want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. I'm down to play through this entire game again. Uh, from what I can see that the, those quality of life improvements have made this game almost 10 times better than the day it came out. And just since the last time I played it, last time I played it, there was DLC out, there's a bunch of upgrade, updates and everything already. So, seeing what they've already done with the game gives me high hopes for this year. Because uh, this game gets updates about every month or two. So, we'll see. I, we still didn't check out what they added today, because that's all the way up over here. But this entire region is supposed to be updated from how it used to be. Which, that's very interesting because, I mean, there's a lot here. I'm curious to see if they change the airport at all, mainly because... Well, it's a military base. To see if they change that at all, because... Once you get into the bunkers there, it's very confusing. So I'm curious to see if they've changed the bunkers at all. Um, and apparently all these littler locations, like this and this... They've all been reworked to be... I don't even know. <laughs> I think it's getting ready to add human NPCs there. Because I'm pretty sure they added human NPCs up here. Or somewhere different to the map they added human NPCs. I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, if you guys... Map Legend. I, we didn't even have this ever. Intro Mission, Safe House, Main Mission, Side Mission, Warboard, Relay Beacon. Those are, have all been here. Rivals have been there, they suck. Reaper tanks have been there, they suck. Consumable station, field radio. Phoenix neutral mode, Phoenix outpost. That's all part of the Phoenix DLC. I don't think I have that, but I didn't buy that, so it should, I shouldn't be able to do anything with those. Interesting. Settlement, church, bunker, military base, airport, port. Those are all the same. Radar station, lighthouse, camp, tourist checkpoint, farm, industrial site, natural site. I don't even remember those. I remember some of those. Interesting. Yeah, so the uh, the, the field radio at the bottom there, that's how you spawn. That's how, like, if you die, if you know you're going to die and you don't want to spawn all the way back at a safe house, you could put a field radio down and you still have to spawn at the safe house, but you could fast travel right back to the field radio. 
Unless they change it and let you spawn on the field radio. Now that'll be sick. But uh, field radios are useful, but the problem with them is they're one-time use. Once everyone in your squad or just you uses it, like, it's gone. So if you're in a squad, every single person could use it once. Um, or it's like up to four uses, maybe, or two uses. Because when me and my friends play, we each can spawn there one time if we die, and then we're just screwed. So, um, let's see if we have one, actually. No, that makes sense. We could self-revive seven times. Jesus. Oh, you know what we didn't try out after I had set it up? Let's do this real quick and then we'll end the video. Okay, a Shiata window. And now we use the binoculars. Oh my god, that window is horrible. These window textures are god awful. Let's just act like we're looking at something from here. Well, actually, we could do, we can. I've never used the binoculars too much, but this is a thing that I always have like on like a hot bar in games. Like in Fallout 76, this thing was always on my hot bar. In this game, it's going to always be on my hotbar as well. Because you don't really need the other consumable spots until you get grenades. The bottom one will be for grenades, and then these two are going to stay for these. Uh, different medkits, which we're looking good on medkits. We're looking good on ammo, because we still have the FMJ. I'm going to swap back. And then, how are we looking here? Decent, 17. We got bird and buck. I want to use, fuck, fuck it, I guess we're using Buckshot. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode of Generation Zero. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see more Generation Zero at all. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know when the next update comes out and stuff. I'll definitely play it off camera and stuff. But uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.